Hey y'all, it's Angie. Welcome to my channel. As some of you know, I am not in Parker right now. I am in Alaska doing some seasonal work and I just want to show you guys a little bit of that journey. I hope you enjoy the next few videos and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I made it to Alaska. I'm in my room right now. This is my little room for the next five months. And I'll take you guys around the outside as well later on. So, um, the flight here was pretty okay. And just carrying all my luggage because I had so many bags. Let me, let me just show you guys the bag. So I had this big ass bag. And then I had that duffel bag, my regular travel bag, um, carry on, and then my backpack. And I had to carry all that stuff by myself <laughs> so I had to like I put the duffel bag on like a backpack put my backpack on the front and then I just drag those other two but yeah I made it I'm here uh, it feels like home to be back here in Alaska uh, the air is so fresh it's just uh, so nice to be back and I can't wait to show you guys the adventures but for now I'm going to unpack and I'll catch you guys in a second to show you guys around the house all right okay so I've put everything away me we have to provide our own sheets and stuff and so when we went to the store I just grabbed a comforter set and didn't realize it didn't come with the sheets <laughs> so I have to go back um, tonight and get sheets for my bed but I got my bed together and my closet my little cubby hole there so everything is still a work in progress let me tuck you guys out here so this is the house this is one of the bathrooms this is the bathroom that i'm going to be using and then down the hall it's just very modest and then so we got a little TV side living room area kitchen stuff and then everybody gets their own like cabinets so um, these are my pots I have to wash them it's trash. and then I have my own little cabinet for my food so I have that and then I'll show you guys outside so outdoors here let me see. So when you go out the door, this is outside. So we have a little balcony. I might buy a little chair to sit out here. And then um, the forest is here on the other side of that. There's like a boardwalk. Um, and up the road that way that is this trailhead for us um so that's where the guides go both the zip line and the hiking guides we all meet up there that's where we start our tours and then the road down here takes you to um the main road so i'm really close to work I'm like literally can walk to work um, on either way and later I'll take you guys on one of um, the trails um, tomorrow I have to kind of shout out some folks so I can get used to being out on the trails again or just you know like a refresher and then I believe that I begin training um, next week I believe so we'll see and I'll keep you guys posted but definitely I will um, show you guys around the little area of catch a can catch you in a second good morning so today is my first day um, going into work I'm just gonna be doing some shadowing so that I can kind of remember the things that I used to do before <laughs> um, so pretty easy day and I'm walking down the road this is the road from my house my house is what is back there and this is what it looks like so this is the road 
We have a little creek here. This is, we see a lot of bears going through there to make their way out to where um, the salmon run is at. Um, so I'll show you guys little things. <laughs> um, and it's really kind of early. They said, they said that they have seen like one bear, uh, one female, but it's really kind of early still for us to really be seeing bears. The females actually usually come out later on in the season. Um, the males tend to come out first looking for food. But yeah, um, I'll bring you guys along for my day today and show you little bits and pieces of it. But it feels like home being back here in Ketchikan. Like when I was on a plane, I got like this sigh of relief. It was like, <sighs> I'm home. So this is my home away from home. I do miss Parker a whole lot. Boy, do I miss my bed and my little space. Um, but I am happy to be here. Very grateful. So yeah, I'll show you guys a little bit more in a little bit, you guys. <sighs> Gosh, it feels so good to be here. <laughs> okay, so we are out on our first tour. I'm just kind of shadowing the guide and checking him out, see his knowledge and things like that. It's a pretty awesome little view here. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing today mostly. That and paperwork. All right, so I'm on my first tour. I'm shadowing one of the um, guides. And we're just kind of cruising through the forest. It's very, very beautiful here. And look at this green. It's amazing. Let me turn it around. So this is the forest here. All right, let me keep it moving. See you guys in a sec. So this is our estuary area here. So this is right across on the other side. That is a fish hatchery. Um, this fills up. This area fill up. We get a couple of high tides, low tides every day, so it kind of fills up over there. The estuary, the water goes all the way, can go all the way back to the very back where the trees are at. Um, as the season goes on, you'll see, we'll start to see more eagles in the area. So, as the season goes on, we'll begin to see more eagles in the area. I do see one in a tree. I'll show that to you guys in just a second. There, in the tree, there is a... There's one there, see him? hanging out there. Sorry. All right, so a little eagle action. There's also a juvenile that's out here. And I believe the one in the tree is a female. The male flew past us and went back towards the forest. But yeah, by midsummer, there's gonna be tons and tons of eagles here. They're just, it's gonna be kind of crazy um, as the salmon start to come back in. All right, onward. All right, so this is the end of my first day. I'm sorry I didn't come back on with more footage, but it got kind of busy. Pretty good day. Um, I saw some eagles, no bear, but eagles, which is always good. I learned a few things and I got to meet um, some of the people that I'll be supervising this season. So it's all good. I'm walking back home. I'm so freaking hungry. You guys, I can't even tell you how hungry I am. I'm so freaking hungry. So I'm going to go home, have something to eat, shower, and get ready for tomorrow. Um, being back here is, is like a dream. I'm so happy that I am back. Um, I do miss my van. I wish that my van was... It's capable of making it up here. I just wish that my van, I need my seals on my doors done. Um, but 
I didn't, and it rained so much here, I just didn't want to have to worry about um, moisture in the van and mold and things like that. And that's why I chose to leave it um, back at home. But yeah, happy to be here. Give you guys a little bit. Let me show you guys. So this is skunk cabbage. Let me pull up on it. Skunk cabbage is used by the bears. So that's something that the bears actually use when they're first coming out of hibernation. It's like a laxative to them. So you know bears go into hibernation. Um, not a true hibernation here. It's a torpor, kind of like a false, like a um, slight hibernation, I'd say, where they can wake up at any time. Um, during their hibernating state. But once they come out of hibernation, they seek things to unplug themselves because they don't use the bathroom. They actually have the capability of recycling um, their urine and uh, parts of the, their bowel stuff. So it helps with them during that hibernating cycle. But anyways, when they do come out, they look for they look for um like things like the skunk cabbage because they're trying to clear themselves clear themselves out and they'll rip it up by the root and they'll eat it all up so <laughs> we know that the bears are really really here out and about when we see the skunk cabbage being pulled out but it it keeps this reputation it's very smelly yeah some pretty things here i mean so we're just just walking through we have the hatchery over there which I showed you guys earlier and this is my road back home but I guess I'll leave you guys and I'll talk to you guys soon <laughs> all right good morning another day in Alaska it's raining today as you can see it's supposed to rain all day today I think it's supposed to rain for the next four days which I like the rain a little bit until <laughs> I get soaking wet um, today I'm going to be learning how to, um, I'm going to be learning ground things. So how to listen on the radio, go pick up people, I don't know. I'll see what it entails. But just cruising in the rain. Uh, it's about 40 something degrees. It's so weird because down in the lower 48, when it's 40 something degrees, I'm freezing. And... Right now, I'm like pretty chill um, as far as not being too cold. Um, look, my cup matches my jacket. My roommate noticed it. I, didn't, I wasn't even paying attention, which is really cool. I ordered a teacup, um, one of the spill-proof ones that I can put in my pack to carry with me all day. And they're supposed to get here Wednesday or something like that. And they sent me an email that it won't get here until May. 27 so that's kind of a bummer but what can I do I don't want to go and buy one because this one's like purple my favorite color so that's why I got it but I don't want to go and buy one when I'm getting one that doesn't make any sense so I have to stick to this one until then <clears throat> so give you guys a look we'll walk through the courtyard so you guys can see the Pull on pole. So again, that's like the back way. This is my the road into work here. Look, the tree's beautiful. I love it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see. I really want to see a bear. I have to keep saying it and maybe it, it will happen if I keep saying it. I'm going to see a bear. I'm going to see a bear. I know it's still too early, but I really want to see a bear. <sighs> so I got to be at work at 8 o'clock and I literally can leave my house for like 7, 50, 2, <laughs> and get to work on time. 
definite plus. Looking so close to where I am living. <sighs> Probably should have brought my gloves. I got them. Ooh, just a little bit of wind. Pull off my hat. this courtyard over here okay so this is where the totems are at and we have a car his name is Kevin his uncle worked here for many many years and in 2019 he actually took over and he's he's created two poles um, since then but this is our yard here where the totems are at. The courtyard, also where the sawmill is. This is where the guests gather after their tours and wait for their buses. There's our store there, so we have a little convenience store there. Our retail store, I should say. Oh, the equipment you see is original equipment for the sawmill stuff. These poles are like all oh, beautiful. <sighs> okay, well, I'm at work, so I'll try and get some clips of what I do today and hope you guys have a oh, great. Oh, I'll always do that. Sorry. <laughs> I always tap the front when right? it's the back. Um, but yeah, you guys. I'll tag you guys along with me for today and see what we get into. Alright, peace out! So this is my first bear sighting of the season and what a little cutie over there getting his eat on. Cutie pie honey bunch. You are so damn cute. Okay guys, yeah, I really get excited over bears. Bear bear sighting number two all cubs. Our little plumpies. <laughs> oh, that one has something on this butt. All right, y'all. I'll see you next week. Same day, same channel. Love you guys.